Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on foundation level sample paper discussions. We are in set B of ISTQB foundation sample papers and completing the chapter 3 today with the remaining two questions. And to get started, we will be looking into the next question, which is question number 17 of the entire paper, that is to talk about the reviews. The reviews being used in your organization have the following attributes and here are the attributes mentioned to you that there is a role of scribe, the purpose is to detect potential defects, the review meeting is led by the author, reviewers find potential defects by individual review, a review report is produced. Now if you pretty much remember before you look into the question exactly, I told you, in fact I taught you when I was talking about these topics, the types of the review, that what makes it unique and different. And all you have to do is remember that unique particular point in order to answer such questions. Because if in case you get confused with the types of review, thinking that, oh, a scribe is possible in multiple types of review. Okay, finding review, uh, sorry, defects is a common agenda for all the review types. So what makes it unique, right? That's where you get confused. So I have given you in my slide deck that the most important things are the uniqueness of each and every type of the review is the very first and the last point, which makes it completely different from the other and does not conflict in the types, right? So here, let's start talking about each of the point. It says there's a role of the scribe, which is not unique. It is common among a walkthrough, technical review and inspection. The purpose is to detect potential defects. Yes, it's common for all the types of review. The review meeting is led by the author. I think that's where you get your answer because meeting led by the author happens in only one type of review. I'll just hold it as a surprise for the time being. Uh, number four, reviewers find potential defects by individual review. Individual review can be a process in technical review and inspection, but does not happen in walkthrough or kind of, you know, it's optional in walkthrough, but in formal review doesn't even happen. So optional certainly means that you can go with yes or no, it's your choice. It's not a mandatory step. And last, a review report is produced. Uh, of course, a review report is also uh, produced in most of the report review types except informal one but in walkthrough it is optional again so if you would need it you can have it. So if you now come back to point number three by now you should have guessed it where exactly the type of review is which says uh, the unique point that it is led by author and the answer is walkthrough. The walkthrough is a type of review where author itself leads the review by calling on the people to join the review meeting and talk about the content. Whereas informal review doesn't have a leader at all. Technical review has a trained moderator. Inspection has a trained moderator. So for these type of questions, even if you remember the unique point, you don't have to waste a lot of time. The moment you come to the point number three, which is unique and does not conflict with any other type, you can pick up your right answer. So putting up all together, the right answer here is B, the walkthrough. The walkthrough is a type of review where meeting is led by author, uh, not by the moderator. And that's unique about it. Let's jump into the next question here, question number 18 and the last question of the chapter three. But yes, this is a typical scenario kind of thing where you talk about the checklist based testing. And this question is coming from there. You need to be very patient in these questions and understand each and every point given to you. Try to correlate as you will be making use of it as a checklist in order to review the checklist that if it is up to the mark or not. Now, the question says, you have been asked to take part in a checklist based review of the following excerpt from the requirement specification for a library system. Okay, so you understand that each one of you would have been to library at least once in your life right? <laughs> That's, that can be a comedy sometime, but yes, uh, at least once in your lifetime you went, would have been to library at least just to follow somebody or probably to get a book, right? Now, they say they have given you a lot of uh, parameters for different users like librarian can do this, borrower can do this, or you all users which is inclusive of librarians and borrowers. So, so basically when it comes to library, there are two types of profile right? It's a librarian and it's a borrower. So you need to figure out that what exactly is uh, something 
wrong in the checklist. But let's read the question. It says you have been assigned the checklist entry that requires you to review the specification for inconsistencies between individual requirements. That means conflict between the requirements. Which one of the following identifies inconsistencies between the pair of requirements? The number one trick to deal with this question is read each and every point patiently and try seeing at what point the conflict happens. Second, as you see, the options are limited. You can always do it other way around. That is like pick up the options and just cross check if these have conflicts or not. And that's how you can easily get to the right answer. I'll take the shortest way, which will help you to understand how to use the shortcut in order to get to the answers without reading the 16 points precisely. But I would still suggest to you that if you have time, please read all 16 points because you never know how the options can be tricking you around. Let's go the shortest way, uh, taking the option A, 6, 10, which is the first combination. So if you see 6, it belongs from librarians. It says the get system response uh, responses within five seconds. Okay, for librarians, it should be less than or equal to five seconds as response time. And 10 belongs to borrowers. It says get system responses within three seconds. Just for your kind information, when there are different operational profiles, then of course they can have different panels to access the same system. For example, an, ad an administrator can have a different access altogether and a user can have a different access. For example, the way you access Facebook, I don't think the Facebook administrators will be accessing the same way. They have a different way of, you know, penetrating into the system or working on certain concepts. So yes, you understand technically that the panels for these two people can be different. So yes, admissible and it does not have a conflict. We can rule out this option right here, straightforward that it does not have conflict. These are two different operational profiles. But still, if you want, you can cross check 615. So 6 and 15. So 6 says get system responses within 5 seconds. And uh, 15, which says the system shall respond to users within 3 seconds. But the third category, the 15, is from the third category, which says all users, librarians and borrowers. Now that's a conflict, right? So 6 is librarian. 15 is librarian and borrowers, which is having a conflict because in first category, librarians, you say that it should be less than or equal to five seconds, but in all category, you say that it should be less than or equal to three seconds. Now that's where the librarian part is conflicting. So if I now come to option B, six and 15 is a valid conflict. Let's check the nine and 11. Now nine and 11, so can you see the trickiness of it? If you get 615, then you see all the four options has 615 combination. So let's check the 911, which is remaining here in the option B. It says nine is B fine for failing to return a book within three weeks. That means from the borrower category, it says that if the borrower does not returns the book in three weeks of time, then he will be or she will be fined. That means some penalty will be applied. When it comes to 11, it says within the same category, borrower, it says borrow a book at no cost for a maximum of four weeks. Now that's straightforward a conflict in the requirement that one place in number nine, you say that if you don't return in three weeks, you will be fined. And 11, you say that you can go for borrowing a book for four weeks with no cost. I think that's pretty much exact conflict what you're talking about. Now in that sense, B seems to be appropriately correct as per the scenario, but let's cross check the remaining one. So if you go to C, 610 is already done, 615 is already done, 911 is also done, correct? So if you say B can be correct, then 610 in the option C is not meeting the expectation. So C is not correct. D, it says seven and 12. Now seven says borrow a maximum of three books at one time and 12 says reserve book if they are on loan. Now they do not have any conflict as these are two different things in a library. One thing is reserving when you don't have it available and second is uh, you can borrow three week books which are available. So that's a different story altogether. So putting it all together, the right answer here is B, 6, 15 and 9, 11 
is the combination which you can pick up as the conflicting requirements between these three categories. So please make sure that you read the options carefully and sometimes just drive your way. The weight can be simpler and easier. Don't forget when the operational profiles are different, the requirements can also be different. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.